Welcome back. In our segment, Midcap Spotlight, my colleague Surbhi and Ekta will be joining in and they're going to be talking about a whole host of stocks that are on our radar on the back of their Q2 numbers. Surbhi, first, take it away. Few companies that are reacting to their Q2 numbers. The first one is Lakshmi Organics. Weak set of numbers there. The revenue is up 7% on a year on year basis. The EBITDA is down 8%. The margins have also come in lower at 4% versus 5% same time last year. And PAT is down 38%. Next is NRB Bearings, where the revenues have come in flat at 257 crores. EBITDA is down 36% at 30 crores. Margins have uh, contracted 600 basis points at 12% versus 18% same time last year and PAT is nearly halved at 13 crores versus 24 crores. Next is Nitin Spinners, again very weak set of numbers. The revenues is down 24%, EBITDA is down 67% at 58 crores. Margins have come in at 12% versus 26% same time last year and PAT is also down 67% at 29 odd crores. Lastly, BLS International, good set of numbers there. The revenue is up 87% at 357 crores. Margins uh, at 16% versus 15% same time last year. And PAT is also up at 86%. The company has also announced a bonus issue of 1 is to 1. Okay, Surbhi, thank you so much for that. Big uh, reaction to these earnings. For instance, Nitin Spinners is down 8%. We have NRB Bearings, which is down 15%. BLS International on the flip side is doing well. So that stock is up in trade today. Uh, so big reactions that we are seeing to these earnings that Surbhi just spoke about. So thank you for that, Surbhi. But other than that, in the, uh, the, rec uh, the Nifty for now has recovered a tad bit. We have it at those flattish levels, but with some negative bias. And uh, the mid-cap side of things, absolutely flat a lot of these stocks which are in focus on the back of earnings and the PSU banking space that continues to do well you know we keep talking about how Mumbai real estate is doing well <coughs> but Godrej properties numbers this quarter didn't look so good right the yes, stock is down five percent it was led by the Mumbai market specifically it has yeah. halved on a quarter uh, quarter on quarter basis for the company uh, interestingly the company has seen a decline both on a quarter on quarter <coughs> and on a YOI basis for their volumes and for their bookings as well their debt has increased as well this time around and that is something which which is not going so well with the company because so far the companies that have reported numbers yes there is a quarter on quarter decline but most of them have seen a YY increase beat Obroy Realty beat the other markets that have an exposure to the Mumbai market as well uh, so yes that's the reason why Godrej Properties has seen a big fall their Mumbai bookings have come in at 550 crore rupees versus a thousand crore rupees on a quarter on quarter basis but of course uh, we'll get Ekta in a bit as well yes in fact Ekta is there she is going to talk about all the mid-cap pharma stocks that are reacting to earnings Ekta uh, thanks for that. Well, yes, uh, you know, I'll start with Piramal Pharma, which is in focus. Uh, they did not, uh, they did provide comparable numbers this quarter. So, for example, the revenue was just about higher by around 9 odd percent on a year on year basis to 1720 odd crores. Their CDMO business, which is one of the, which is actually the bulk of their business, was up only around 6 percent on a year on year basis. The complex hospital generic business was up around 12 odd percent year on year, and the India consumer healthcare business was up in double digits up around 18 odd percent. They have strong brands in their portfolio such as iPill as well as Saradonix Lactocalamine. Now the margins were 13 percent versus 14 percent and they recorded an overall loss of around 37 odd crores. So overall a sluggish performance you would have to say and uh, remember that this was the first quarter that they reported numbers on a standalone basis after being a demerged entity from the financial arm. Sequence Scientific, the revenue was down around 4 odd percent. Margins were lower on a year on year basis and there was a loss of around 3.75 crores but the numbers look better on a Q on Q basis for example the margins were flat at a at one percent so there was no improvement sequentially in terms of margins and there was a loss of 3.75 crores which was lesser than the loss last quarter of around close to 15 odd crores the company is also acquired 100 percent in a particular company which is India based for over 200 odd crores they will be paying 153 crores in cash and around 65 crores via preferential allotment so some developments on the m a front but overall it it was uh, not much of an improvement on a Q and Q basis when it came to sequence scientific. Thank you very much uh, for that. Piramal Pharma, by the way, after this 4% fall that we're seeing post numbers, is now trading below the price that it was on the day of the MSCI selling. Remember, on the day of the MSCI selling, the stock had taken a huge beating on very large volumes. It went down to levels of 158, 159. And right now, as we speak, Piramal Pharma is trading even lower than that level. With that, we're out of time on Midcap Radar. Thank you for watching your stocks when we return.